that I'm going to be a subspecialist in anything that can let me be. That's my life. True oh story. Insulted me in my country. Yeah, I, I decided to be the best so that nobody could challenge me anymore. The strong men cry. It, it's actually not a sign of weakness, it's a sign, it's a sign of strength. This is Africa. Dr. Akindele Kolade's life is a testament to resilience, perseverance, and the unwavering pursuit of excellence. Born in the remote village of Nung Udo, Nigeria, Dr. Kolade's journey began in humble surroundings, but his dreams were anything but small. From a young age, he exhibited a thirst for knowledge and a determination to defy the limitations imposed by his circumstances. Dr. Kolade experienced firsthand the challenges of poverty, limited access to education, and the lack of opportunities that plagued many rural communities in Nigeria. Despite these obstacles, he remained undeterred in his pursuit of a better life, recognizing education as the key to unlocking his potential and breaking free from the cycle of poverty. With sheer determination and an unwavering resolve, Dr. Kolade embarked on a journey to pursue his education, a journey that would take him far from the familiar streets of his village. His path led him to the Czech Republic, where he pursued a degree in medicine, facing numerous challenges and obstacles along the way. From cultural barriers to academic pressures, Dr. Kolade encountered adversity at every turn, but he refused to be deterred. Despite the challenges he faced, Dr. Kolade excelled in his studies, earning his medical degree with honors and setting his sights on a career dedicated to healing and serving others. Armed with his newfound knowledge and a passion for medicine, he returned to Nigeria as a qualified medical doctor, eager to make a difference in the lives of his fellow countrymen. But Dr. Collard's journey was far from over. Seeking new opportunities and experiences, he set his sights on the United States of America where he would embark on the next chapter of his life and career. In the land of opportunity, Dr. Kolade found himself faced with new challenges and obstacles, but once again, he rose to the occasion with determination and resilience. As a medical professional practicing in the United States, Dr. Kolade distinguished himself as a compassionate and dedicated physician earning the respect and admiration of colleagues and patients alike. His commitment to excellence and his unwavering dedication to his patients set him apart in a field crowded with talented individuals. But beyond his professional achievements, Dr. Kolade's impact extended far beyond the walls of the hospital. As a psychiatrist, he touched the lives of countless individuals offering them hope, healing, and a sense of purpose in the face of adversity. His empathy, compassion, and genuine concern for the well-being of others endeared him to all who cross his path, earning him the reputation as a trusted confidant and advisor. Throughout his remarkable journey, Dr. Collade never lost sight of his roots or the values instilled in him 
during his upbringing in Nung Udo. Despite his success and accomplishments, he remained humble, grounded, and deeply connected to his community, using his platform and influence to uplift those in need and advocate for positive change. As the pages of a life in progress unfold, readers are treated to a captivating narrative of resilience, determination, and triumph in the face of adversity. Dr. Collard's story serves as a powerful reminder of the boundless potential that lies within each of us and the transformative power of perseverance, faith, and unwavering belief in one's self. In the end, a life in progress is more than just a memoir. It is a testament to the human spirit and the capacity for greatness that resides within us all. Dr. Colade's journey is a source of inspiration and hope for anyone facing challenges or setbacks in life, reminding us that with courage, determination, and the steadfast belief in ourselves, anything is possible. A student and tell anybody I was an A student, um, but I never gave up. I fall, I wake up and do it again. <laughs> I fall, <laughs> wake up and do it again. Which is different from repeating the same mistake over and over and over. But I learn from my mistake. When I fall, I learn why I did fall. I know there's more educated Africans in this country than in any other part of the universe. Please tell your story. Let's tell people what we do so that nobody would think that we are from a whole country because we ain't from a whole country. We have brains. It is time for us to just stop being timid and let the Lord God, boys and girls, emulate you and copy you and be like you and become you and do better. And that's what I'm going to teach my children and that's why I'm doing this. I just want to start something. Mm -hmm.